all records that I get, I put through a, my own washing process, which cleans the dirt stuff out of the grooves and also will improve the sound quality of the record by two or three grades if you do it right. You take a shoe brush, fairly bristles on it, and you drop some ivory liquid or any liquid dish soap. Wet it, scrubbing in circular motions with the grooves. Avoid hitting the label. Depending on how dirty the record is, how much wear it's got, it's, you give it a longer scrub. This is not too bad, so we've got a little dirt on this side. And you get some really bad record, the whole soap turns black. You give it three or four round heaping in the grooves. And if the label's dirty, and wipe it like that, and then you just stick it under the spigot and rinse it off like you do a dish. <coughs> and you, <coughs> I usually put them in this rack right here and let them drip. And then you go to another one. This really, really improved records. Um, a lot of fellows that I know do the same process. I, I like the shoe brush. It doesn't hurt the record. It just gets down in the grooves and gets all that dirt and stuff out, which causes surface noise. I'm going to say you can have records that improve the playing condition by two or three grades. You can have a record that's a B plus, and if you wash it right, it'll be an E minus. Skim over the label a little bit. There's some records you have to be careful with the labels. You don't want to get them wet. It really makes a difference. If you have any old records and you want to get the dirt off them, that's the way to do it. And then when you're uh, through washing there, you just take them out and uh, dry them all. And they're really improves the condition of them. They're nice and clean and ready to be played. Stone.